Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Now today I'm going to be transplanting my extremely cute and very tiny little Echinopsis subdenudatus, commonly known as the sea urchin cactus or the domino cactus. And these cute little uh, seedlings here is ones that I have sown from seed back in February 2018. And these little cuties are seeds from our own plant. It's actually from Hansi's, my fiance's plant. And I'm gonna show you the mother plant now. I'll just take you over to have a look at the mother plant. This is the big, <coughs> the big proud mother here, full of buds. These are all our Echinopsis cactus plants. We have a few different varieties and they've been flowering all through the summer. As soon as the flowers drop off, more buds form and we have uh, more seed pods on the go as well on some of our others. So very exciting to see. Look at that lovely big seed pod. So more seeds on the way. But this particular one here, this is the big mother plant that this particular Echinopsis subdenudatis one hands has had for a very, very long time. Very multiple pupped as you can see. And this is the proud mommy. So how lovely is that? <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you here what i um, going to be potting on. So these are the, the result of the, the little seeds I sown. And if you want to know how to grow cactus from seed and the method I use, then links up above to a video I have made on how to grow cactus from seed. And also put the link down below in the video description as well. And I've made the soil mix ready to transplant them. And I've used four equal parts of a very, very well draining uh, cactus soil mix of uh, loam based soil, L-O-A-M. <laughs> um, in this case, I'm using John Innis number two, mixed with um, pumice, lava rock and grit at four equal parts. And if you want to know how to make this amazing soil mix, then this is one that my friend Daz from Cacti Mania here on YouTube recommended. Very happy with this cactus soil. And our links up above to um, up above to Daz's video on how to make this soil. And I'll also put the links down below. So here we go. I've got the little pots, these tiny little five centimeter plastic pots that are like gold dust to find. I was lucky to get a few of these in bulk, but other than that, they're so hard to find. Um, and they're perfect for potting on little, little tiny seedlings like this. Some of them are still very tiny, as you can see these. So I might pot two very small ones into one pot together because I think some of them are that small that even in a pot this size is still going to be a bit too large for them. But as you can see, this one here it definitely deserves its own little pot and possibly a couple of the other bigger ones too. So I won't know till I actually get them out and see what the root systems are like on them. But um, as you can see, they are all touching each other. They're desperate to be repotted. And people often say to me, Lynn, when do I transplant my cactus seedlings? Well, I always recommend leaving them for as long as you possibly can until they're really touching each other like this. I mean, these have to be potted on now. And that's because... I don't recommend doing it before then because when they're very small the roots are very very delicate and even the seedlings themselves can easily go go back to um, very prone to rot when they're very young so leave them as long as you can until you have to pop them on always best to transplant uh, cactus seedlings spring summer or early fall autumn if you can so they've got a chance to settle settle down before the winter kicks in so here we go then guys, that's the soil mix, that's the pots, these are little cuties. Got the labels to uh, write when they're all done. And I'm gonna uh, show you how I take them out of the pot. Now here we go, and the good thing is with this type of pot, this is the very flimsy plastic ones and they're so cheap to get from the Poundland and dollar shops. So I'm just gently squeezing it. And obviously with, with young cactus seedlings, when you are transplanting, you have to be so delicate, uh, sorry, de um, so careful with the delicate roots. So these are great, you don't have to go getting them out of hard containers or anything and then turning it upside down I have no idea what the roots are going to be like wow they look pretty good on here and this is a different cactus mix to what I've used previously obviously well, what I'm going to be using I've used a, a loam based soil with a lot of grit as you can see now obviously when it comes to separating them you have to be so careful there's no way around it really other than sort of pulling them teasing them apart but what I'm going to be doing when I have potted these up I'm going to be leaving them dry for about a week um, without any water to allow the the delicate roots that if any of them do get damaged and it's inevitable as I say when you are repotting transplanting seedlings then it gives a chance for the roots to heal over and repair before they uh, get watered again so very gently teasing apart like that coming away quite easy which is good oh that's great look at that so this is a 
not going to be as hard as I thought. And uh, there you go, sort of softening up the roots. The less you can pull them, the better. These are coming away without any tug, so that's absolutely fantastic. I don't think I'm going to be doing very little damage here to the roots. That, that's great. So sort of get them into little parts, and I have to separ separate every single one. It's going to be a little bit of a time-consuming job here. But there's the first one and what you want to do is try and get as much of the old soil off as possible without damaging the roots obviously and um, what you want to do also is check the roots over there's no signs of mealy bugs and vine weevils and the like because they love young seedlings but in this case the roots are pretty good i have to say so i think that's enough of the soil to take off i can leave not going to be a problem leaving some of the old soil on because it's not a lot different to the soil that i used before but um it is more of a grittier mix than I'm using now, but not a problem. So that's the first little cutie. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It's going to take a while to separate them all, but I'm just going to show you a couple just in case you want to know how to do it with your cactus seedlings and obviously things like moss remove off. And then these two here, very carefully separate these because these sort of got the roots together coming away. That's great. Little cutie there. And then this is the biggest one of them all. So that's very exciting. And, uh, and that's pretty much okay. Great root system on that. Look at that, guys. And what's that? Well, I'm going to do this then with all of these, separate all of these in the same way, and then show you what it looks like when it's all done. Now, that's them all separated and uh, laid out. And look, they've got a good root system. This one has got a very good root system. Some of the small ones I was going to pot, put two into the same pot, I got big enough to have their own root systems in their own little individual pots. These ones here I've just put into little groups because they can both go into the same pot because you can see only small root systems and they are very small. So what I'm going to be doing now is filling up these pots with a little bit of soil at the bottom, first of all, before potting them up. Now that's the little bit of soil in the bottom of the pots there. And I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to show you the whole lot of me doing this. I'm just going to show you the first couple of me transplanting them into the new pots. And then I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all done. So first of all, I'm going to go with the biggest one. Look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? And then very gently place him in into his pot here. And then I'm going to be, oops, make sure that's the roots are all tucked in nicely. And then put the soil around here. He's the biggest one. In fact, he can probably be potted on again in a probably in a month or two, a couple of months' time anyway, see how he grows. If not, he'll stay in here then in this pot until the following spring. But he's the biggest of the biggest. How cute. Draw the little one there. As I say, once I've potted all these up, I'm going to be keeping them dry for a week before starting to water them just to let them acclimatize into the new pot so that's the first little cutie pie done and then i'm going to do another one just to show you here this little one that's in gently and i say if i was potting up a very spiny cactus i'd recommend you use some protection on your hands because either i find that gloves are hopeless anyway but sometimes it's good to use things like sheets of paper that you can wrap around your hands as long as it's not going to stop your movement and that protects protects your hands but these aren't these are so young and they really are not spiny as such i'm used to handling cacti i just prefer to use my hands but just let that be um, be aware of that if you're potting on cactus ceilings you must protect your hands if you're not used to handling cacti that's the second one a little bit more very easy and then what i'm going to be doing then is do the rest of these and then i'm going to show you what they're like when they're all done now that's them all potted up, little cuties. And now I'm just gonna write down the labels of obviously what they are and when I sewed them in 2018. And then that's it all done. Now there you go, that's them all labelled now, these sweetie pies. And as I say, I'm going to leave it a week before I start to water again, just to allow the, the roots to settle. 
and then I'm going to water them every time the soil dries out in the pot. But in the winter time I'm going to be keeping these totally dry because these seedlings are large enough now to be treated more like the mature plants. Aren't they gorgeous? So guys thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti succulents, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cute baby cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. And bye from these little sweeties.